Um, we have a little damage right there. Actually, we have a little damage right there, so we're gonna replace this one. Now this plank right here, I have blue tape around it just to show you which plank I am replacing. Now this plank was a drop and lock, meaning you have to pound down the butt joint to get it to lock into place. So what I like to do is I like to just take my circular saw and I'm gonna adjust this blade to just barely go through. You can use an oscillating saw instead of using the circular saw, so keep that in mind. I just use the circular saw because it's faster. You can see I barely went all the way through, so I'll have to finish cutting that with my utility knife. Now I like doing it like that because then if I I don't, I mean, if I go into the floor a little bit with the saw, that's not a big deal. But if you're on concrete using a circular saw, you want to be a little shy of going all the way through. I'm just going to take a marker and mark a couple lines in here. What I'm trying to do is cut a channel. You can see where I marked this. I just went from end to end. I'm just trying to give myself a guide with the saw. I'm going to start with my saw right here at the edge, right on this line. And I'm going to try to come back as far as I can to this joint, and then we'll finish that off with the oscillating saw. Okay, so you can see, I went almost all the way to the edge, and I'll finish that with the oscillating saw in a minute. <laughs> it's not going to be dusty, but this is really going to make a mess, so you want to make sure that you have a vacuum nearby. Now I want to finish this up with my oscillating saw. I could use a utility knife and then just keep scoring it right here without hitting the edge until that broke through, but I'm going to use the oscillating saw because it's kind of difficult to do that with the utility knife. I still stopped a little bit before so I didn't hit this part of the plank. So just make sure you stay slow and steady when you do this. So now if I brought my knife down, I'd almost be to the edge here and I can finish the rest of that with my utility knife. This one I could probably go a little farther with the oscillating saw. That's pretty good. Now again, I didn't go all the way through. So now I want to make sure I go over this with my knife. So I get all the way through all the, the plank. Now I'll do the same thing on this end. You're just trying to get it as close as you can because when you use the circular saw, it comes up at an angle because there's stuff, because the blade is round, it didn't cut all the way through. Now I want to make sure I cut through all the way with my knife. Now this is the part right here where the plank sits up on top of the groove. So this plank right here is the has the groove and this has the tongue side. So I want, this side I don't have to worry about as much. The other side is where I really need to be careful, but I'm just gonna start grabbing it. And you can see how it pulled right out right there. The other side you wanna be way more careful with because this is the side where the tongue goes into the groove. The groove's on this side of the plank or where I mean this is the groove, here's the tongue. We need to lift up but not too much, because if you lift up too much, then this lip can get damaged on this plank. Okay, there's a couple of things I want to show you with this plank. This is a drop and lock. Like I said, it doesn't go in like this and then lock. It actually just goes right on top of this. 
locking system and then it bangs down. If you're replacing this plank and you are and you installed this yourself, you know what I'm talking about if you have a drop and lock. Well, because of that, you want to be very careful when you're putting this plank in or when you're taking it out and putting it in so you don't get your edge to bevel up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this one kind of beveled up a little bit. Or this is what it can do, okay? It can bevel up a little bit. And you don't want that crease to get in there. I can maybe see it a little bit there. So that's what you want to be careful of. So you just want to lift up a little and then just start wiggling to pull it out. Now again, on this side, this should pop out pretty easy. I'm just gonna wanna try to wiggle it out a little bit. So now I'm starting to get this groove out. I'm just gonna work my way down with it. As you can see, I'm just gonna try to just be really gentle. I'm just wiggling and now I'll pop it out. Now part of this broke off, so I'm gonna have to get that out under there. We'll clean that out in a minute. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this plank. Just very easily keep wiggling it. Now you can see right here, I actually got the groove out with it. I'm just gonna shove this chisel to hold it up. Pop that right out. So now I have it all out. Pull that out. Now we're ready. We need this groove to support this plank right here when it's on top of there. Because it's a drop and lock, it depends on that groove right there for support, okay? And then it also, this has to lock in. So if we don't have this groove here, then this can move up and down this joint when we put it together. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want this to move up and down. So if we leave some of this groove on, just cut this lip off, then we'll put glue on top of this joint and glue these two pieces together so they still will be locked together, okay? So what I like to do to prep this is I'll just take my knife at an angle right at that lip and I'll just go over it really lightly. Once, twice, three times. And you can see I cut that lip all the way off. So now this groove doesn't have a lip on there. So it'll slide in there nice and easy. And you'll know what I'm talking about once we get going. Just follow my lead here and make sure you cut this part of this groove off. Now the other thing we need to do is we need to completely cut this groove off on along the entire length. We're gonna leave the tongue on the top, but we're gonna completely cut the groove off. And as all I do to do that is I shove my knife right inside that groove all the way back. You can feel it go all the way back underneath the plank. And then I'm just gonna hold it at an angle again and I'm gonna lightly score at an angle all the way down. And now I'm gonna do that again, probably three times. For the most part, one or two times and it probably will come off on, on a cheaper plank or a plank that has a little less durable locking system on it. Okay, so now I'm cut all the way through. You can see, here's the groove. I completely took it off now. Now, when I took this groove off, now there's a bevel. So when you're looking at the plank this way, the bevel goes in that way. Okay, so up here, there's no groove at all that's gonna get in our way. Okay, I wanna focus down here again now. Now what we're gonna end up having happen here is the tongue, which is on this side, here's the groove on the plank that's still down. We're actually gonna get that tongue slid into that. We're gonna drop this down and we're gonna slide this plank that way until it gets underneath the groove here. But you wanna be very careful doing that because we don't wanna damage this side at all. Now, before we do that, we're gonna run a bead of glue on top of this groove that we already have exposed. And then we're also going to run glue all the way down the edge of this plank that we cut the groove off, okay? What we're looking to do is to have this plank, this side, be glued to this tongue that's sticking out. Now I'm gonna prep this over here and what I'm using is clear Gorilla Glue. 
Now, clear Gorilla Glue is something that I like to use with vinyl plank. It does not foam, okay? So it doesn't, it's not gonna foam like the normal Gorilla Glue, so make sure you get the clear. You have to have the clear. Don't get the white, don't get the normal stuff, get the clear. And what activates this is water. So I take a wet washcloth. Now there's some water in here. I'm gonna wipe this right here. And now we're just gonna run a line or a little bead of glue right on top of this. Okay, now I need to prep this where we cut the groove off. I'm gonna prep this entire thing and run a bead of glue all the way down it. So same thing, I'm just gonna get it wet. It doesn't have to be dripping wet, just get it moist. And then we're gonna run that bead of glue all the way down. Now don't worry if you may get a little messy here, I'm gonna show you what you can use to clean clear Gorilla Glue off. I'm just riding it right on the lip down there. It's really hard for me to get the camera angle on that, but I'm just running it on the lip. So now I wanna go over here and Get ready to put this plank in. Okay, so this groove and then the groove down on the other end down there is we don't have to get wet, but we wanna get this tongue wet the entire way and we wanna get this wet under here. Now this is the side that's really important to me. So I wanna get that tongue in a little bit first so that it locks in down here, but I need to clear this locking system. There you go, I just, I just cleared it. Now I'm gonna take this tapping block and I'm gonna hit it this way. You wanna be sure that you hold this end down while you're tapping it into that joint. So if you don't have somebody there to help hold that down, then just use your foot like I'm showing here and then hit it with the tapping block to get it in to joint. So I'm just gonna hit this gently with the tapping block. Now what I need to do is just tap the plank in this way. Now you wanna be careful so you don't chip anything, so just hit it lightly till it goes. It just locked in. Now I can take my rubber mount it, making sure it's all cleared. Now I just come all the way down to this side and then just pound this together. Now this is where the glue was, but it's still locked in nicely. I don't see any movement in there. So we should be good to go. Now all of this should just lock down tight where you don't have much to worry about, but I'd put weight on it. Cause like right here, I have a spot where it's a little loose. The glue is gonna hold that. You're still gonna wanna put some weight on this to hold it down overnight. Now I like to take denatured alcohol this is, you could use mineral spirits even, but I use denatured alcohol and this cleans all that Gorilla Glue right off. So just wipe it down really good, put some weight on it overnight and you'll be good to go. And that's how you change a vinyl plank. Okay, so next week I'll be releasing that other video with replacing a plank that has a tongue and groove locking system. So be looking for that. And if you wanna get notified of that when it comes out, just hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell that's for notifications and you'll get that notification. If you're watching this later on after that's already been released, then I'll have a link right here or somewhere around here for you to be able to go right to that video. Now, I just want to pray that God blesses you and your family. I pray that he guides you through this plank replacement that you have and that it goes well for you. And I pray for this in Jesus' name. Now, my name is Joe Latender, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching.